So for me, the biggest problem was the lack of self-defense into the knowledge, the basic knowledge for every Jiu-Jitsu practitioner. And something interesting happened, like in the past, just when we arrived in the U.S., we've, I mean, hundreds of times, we've been teaching black, karate black belts where at the time they feel like they know everything. And then when they get exposed to real Jiu-Jitsu, they said, why, man, I lost 20 years of my life because I was doing karate, now I know what real things is. So, somehow, when I go in a seminar those days, I feel like the same impression for many black belts, Jiu-Jitsu black belts. They feel like, wow, man, I never thought this exists in Jiu-Jitsu. And that's, this kind of unbalance make me feel like if we don't do something in, in a very serious matter, Jiu-Jitsu will lose their identity, we will lose our culture, because our culture is to handle situations, awkward situations on the street, and of course, compete well. But Competition is not our priority. Our priority is to really be safe out there and be able to handle any unpredictable situation. And it's unacceptable in terms of culture how a guy can be a black belt without knowing self-defense or without teaching self-defense or without prioritizing self-defense and their core ability to teach. Mm -hmm. If I have a woman here, I'm not gonna teach competition, I'm gonna teach self-defense. If I have a child here, I'm gonna teach self-defense. If I have a, a older guy, self-defense. If I have the toughest guy in the MMA, I will have to teach him self-defense right. for him to feel like in a good sense of how to apply his ability. So self-defense is our culture because without the self-defense, he cannot even be a tough black belt as I believe and he cannot even be a good professor, as I believe. So self-defense is our backbone, and we have to reestablish self-defense in all levels in Jiu-Jitsu.